Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. In today's video, I'll show you how to zoom in on your video using the transform and crop tools and keyframes. As always, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the thumbs up button, comment, and share across your social media. And don't forget to subscribe. New Final Cut Pro tutorial videos coming every Thursday. For my first example, I have some stock 4K footage. The nice thing about 4K is you can zoom in on it 400%, and not lose any quality in a 1080p project. There's a number of tools in Final Cut Pro you can use to zoom in on your clip. The first method I'll show you is using the transform tool. I'll select a clip and click on this transform tool. With my playhead over the clip and the clip selected, I'll open the inspector. I'll make sure video is selected and use the scale slider to enlarge my clip. Or I can enter a specific percentage. I'll enter 200% and press enter. My video clip is now twice as large as it was originally. Now I can click and drag the center handle in the viewer to position my clip. In my next example, I want to zoom in halfway through the clip and instead of jumping to a larger image, I want to show a zooming part. Also, instead of using the transform tool, I'll use the crop tool to accomplish this. I'll skim over to where I want the zoom to start and place my playhead there. With my clip selected from the drop down menu, I'll select the crop tool. The crop tool has three modes in Final Cut Pro. Trim allows you to cut off parts of the image. Crop also trims off parts of the image, but then scales up the result to fill the current frame size of the clip. And Ken Burns allows you to animate the image using zooms and pans. To lock in the picture size here, I'll add a keyframe by clicking this keyframe button. I'll move the skimmer ahead about 15 frames and use the resize handles to adjust my clip. Resizing your image with a crop tool, adjust the height and the width of your image at the same time to avoid distorting your image. As soon as any changes are made, Final Cut Pro automatically adds another keyframe. I'll click Done and review my clip. To zoom back out, I'll have to add two more keyframes. I'll place a playhead where I want the zoom to start, select the crop tool, and add a keyframe by clicking the keyframe button. Now, just like before, Move the playhead ahead about 15 frames and adjust the crop handles to the original size. An easy way to revert to the original size is by changing all the crop parameters in the inspector back to zero. You can fine tune the speed of the zooms by selecting a clip, pressing Ctrl V to open the video animator, and dragging the white keyframes. In my next clip, I'm going to add a camera pan and combine it with a zoom effect to simulate camera movement. I'll set my playhead at the start of my clip and use the crop tool to zoom in on this gear and set a keyframe to lock in this position. Now I'll skim over and set my playhead just as he starts spraying snow, select the crop tool again and move the window down to center the skier. Just like before, as soon as any changes are made, Final Cut Pro adds another keyframe. I'll move the playhead in a few frames ahead and zoom out on the image. As I review my edit, the pan at the start of my clip simulates camera motion, and zooming out makes it look like a cameraman backed away to avoid getting sprayed by snow. All this was accomplished from a static camera shot just by using Final Cut Pro's effects. One thing to remember though, is anytime you zoom in on an image, you lose resolution. This is where having 4K footage comes in handy. As always, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share on your social media. And while you're at it, check out and like my Facebook page linked in the description. Lots of great information there. For more Final Cut Pro tutorials, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. New videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching and until next time.